presented by Under Armour. We turn our attention now to the North Texas Mean Green, who had an outstanding season last year. They had a four-game improvement from 2015. They went to a bowl game, and it was a great year for first-year head coach Seth Luttrell, who joins us. Seth, good to have you with us, buddy. Appreciate you having us on. Also joining us today is running back Jeffrey Wilson. He was the team's leading rusher last season. And from the defense, Keyshawn McLean, preseason All-Conference USA, finished the year with 91 total tackles. I've known you a long time. You, last year was great. You get to go to a bowl game first time since 2013 or whatever it was. Complacency is the enemy of excellence, said former Oklahoma coach Bud Wilkinson. Is that been in the back of your mind? We didn't achieve anything. We still got things to do this year. It's, my, it's on my mind every year. And, again, I think uh, in this sport, any team sport, you better have a chip on your shoulder and you better figure out a way uh, for whatever success you have, whether it's week to week, uh, game to game, uh, or an entire season as a way to restart it and, and refocus and make sure uh, that your goals and, and uh, everything that you're trying to accomplish is, uh, is known and right there in front of you. And so I think every year at the end of the season, you got to reset it um, and, and go back to day one and, and talk about your culture, talk about your core values, and continue to stress uh, the importance of consistency, how we're going to work to accomplish the mission. And, um, you know, our team's done a great job of doing that. Uh, we've got a great group of men. We've got great coaches, and uh, so they take a lot of strain off of us. Did your prep work get better as the season went on last year? No doubt. Uh, early on, you know, the, the, to me, the, one of the big turning points of the season was uh, the week of Florida. And I think offensively, uh, defense, they had a really consistent week of practice mm -hmm. and preparation that week. Offensively, we were terrible. And uh, I, m I made it known. And this isn't how we work. And this is, uh, this is what happens uh, when you work like this. You have no chance. Um, you know, there's too much parity and there's too many good teams you're going to face uh, throughout the season. You've got to learn how to work. And so... Uh, from then on out, it became much more consistent. Um, you know, again, uh, some weeks were better than others, uh, but they understood uh, the standard of what it looked like uh, um, to uh, to prepare for a football game. One of the things I noticed last year, and, and when I had one of your games, you and I talked about it, you kept the game plan simple. Was it possible because the guys up front, they just couldn't take all of it in? And if so, do you expand that game plan this year? Again, it depends on how, how much uh, better we are in, in that department. You know, uh, every year is a little bit different. Um, you know, every team is different. So our, our playbook's only going to be as big as what our players can understand, uh, understand the answers to, and are they allowed to play fast within the system? Because the more you put on them, I think, uh, the more hesitant you can get um, if they're not really sure about it. So it's. It, my philosophy is keep it as simple as possible. Let them go out there and play fast and make plays. A lot of coaches, though, they, they, they want to get their whole playbook in, but sometimes that's not the best thing to do. It, it depends. Um, again, there, there was, there's times that where you may have a lot of offense. There's times where I've called a, an offensive game, and uh, you may, it may look like you have a lot of plays on, 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 on your game plan, and you end up running 10 plays. And so uh, the, the hardest thing is figuring out what are the best 10 plays um, right. to run versus uh, whatever you're going to face that week. And, Again, uh, if, if, if it's working, um, just let them go out there and make plays, play fast. Sometimes us as coaches, we get in the way, and, and uh, we overthink it ourselves too much. You obviously improved your scoring from 2015 to 2016. I look at this team, and I wonder, is there a proven playmaker on offense, especially from the wide receiver standpoint for you? Uh, well, th I don't think there's a proven one at the wide receiver uh, position right now, but I do think there's guys um, that I feel like could have breakout seasons that could be – uh, really good football players that have high ceilings and uh, who are working extremely hard and, and, and doing some really good things right now. Uh, but do we have a guy right now that I would name? No, that receiver. Mason Fine, a lot of people thought that was a gamble, you starting him last year. But as the season went on, he started to get a little more comfortable. What do you expect from him to go from year one to year two as far as quarterback? Just get more comfortable, I think. With any system, the more, you, the more you're repping it, the more you get to know it. Um, again, trying to keep it simple for us, but he's had a really good offseason. There's one thing about Mason. He's going to work extremely hard. He studies the, he studies the game. Um, and so he had a much better spring. But uh, also, Quinn Schombauer uh, was a guy that he right. competed with in this spring, and he also had a heck of a spring. So, again, it's, it's, a, it's another one of those uh, you know, challenges um, to both of them that just get as good as you can be. And um, one of those guys need to emerge as the, the clear-cut leader and, uh, to, to lead this football team and to uh, – a good season. Well, your philosophy, obviously, <laughs> offensively, is to be successful. You must run the football. You've got some experience coming back on the offensive line, but you still have to complete some deep balls. Did you complete as many deep balls last year as you wanted? No, to? I think we were we we're atrocious uh, on the deep ball. You know, I thought 
as the season went on, uh, we got a little bit more consistent with it. But uh, I think really this spring, um, that's something that we really worked on and, and really challenged our men on. And uh, this spring was much better. But uh, no, to answer your question, I didn't feel like we were good in that department at all this last season. Let's talk to the players a little bit. Jeffrey Wilson, as mentioned, led the team in rushing the last two years. He had 936 yards running the football last year despite missing two games and parts of others. Jeffrey is the number one key this year, staying healthy. Yes, uh, that, that's, that's the biggest part, and that's the part that we focused on in this offseason. How did you do that? Oh, man, it, it goes from far as nutrition to sleeping to stretching to exercising, right, just the whole nine yards. We, we just made sure we took our time and, and, and worked on my body from head to toe. Now, it didn't take your players long to buy in with Seth and Coach Harrell we're giving to you offensively. It seemed like you got a comfort factor right away with them. Is that a fair statement? Oh, yes, sir. That's very fair. That's very fair. You know, uh, Coach Latrell, he's a great guy. He's a tremendous guy. You know, uh, you better say tremendous. <laughs> great, great doesn't cut it now. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. It doesn't. But but he deserves. He deserves it all, though. He's, he's, a, he's a father figure to all the players on the team, and we look up to him in that way. Now, we, you know, Seth and I were just talking about, you know, being complacent after a bowl game. Because you go to a bowl game, you guys probably, a lot of the players hadn't been to one. Has that been talked among the players that we still haven't done anything here at North Texas? Oh yes, sir, and, and, and that's 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 what we what we emphasize a lot in the locker room. You know, uh, that's that's not something that we wanted. That's not something that that we strive for, and and that's not uh that's not uh that's not the goal that we wanted to achieve. The goal was to complete our mission, and, and the mission was to win our bowl game, and we didn't do that. Also joining us is safety Keyshawn McLean, preseason All Conference USA, and. One publication called him, and I quote, the most dynamic player for North Texas from last season. Do you like hearing that? I love hearing it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, can you live up to that? I definitely could. I'll show you guys. <laughs> okay, the defense obviously much improved over from 2015 to last year. What in your eyes were the biggest improvements? The biggest improvement was guys just buying into what, you know, we had different culture changes, you know. We just bought in. Just do what uh, coaches told to do, you know, don't do too much, you know, just do what you, your job and everything will work out. And how about the improvement this year? What have you focused on to make that next step defensively? Uh, being more vocal to my guys, more of a leader, make sure there's more film work there that, that they have ever been on the defensive side since I've been there, you know. So we just have guys buying in with each other, creating a bond, and just attacking everything that we're doing. Now you had 14 interceptions last year as a unit, and you also were obviously in the top couple as far as pass defense is concerned. Are those goals for you again to surpass that, not be number two or three, but be number one. Yes, most definitely. We, you know, we want more. You know, we, we're going to uh, try to top that. You know, we want 20 in the top. We want 20 picks, 20 everything. You know, we want to make get our hands on more balls, more pass breakups, and everything. So, anything's in the air, we're going to go try to go get it. That's our goal. What are the things that stands out when you look at numbers? And not to get caught up in numbers, but 48% opponents were successful on third down. I would have to think, Seth, that is not an acceptable number to you. No, our, our third down defense was poor last year. Um, we gave up too many big plays, and we, we would get people behind the chains, and we did a uh, really nice job being consistent on first and second down. But uh, third down was, a, was a, uh, uh, a poor part of our game this past year, and I think that's, it cost us a lot of football games. That's not the only reason. It takes three mm -hmm. phases of the game to win and lose football games. But, uh, you know, that's something we've really focused on and emphasized. And um, Coach, uh, Coach Reffitt does an unbelievable job. I mean, look, he understands uh, – uh, what the issues are uh, within the system and, and throughout the year. So, again, this is a new team, and it's something we're definitely going to focus on, on getting off the football field. I look at your team, and I think the defensive line will make the biggest jump this year, despite the fact you have new players. Do you think that's a fair statement? I think it's our deepest position on our team. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Now, again, you still got to go out and make plays. Uh, but the good thing about it, there's a lot of competition in that room. And so every day you better come show up to work. Uh, there's not – uh, there's a lot of guys that can go in and make plays for us. Um, it's, it's a room that, um, you know, has pretty good leadership, starting with uh, Andy Felucci. I mean, what a teammate he is, mm -hmm. and he's a great team leader, uh, and he holds those guys accountable. And so I'm really looking forward to uh, watching Coach Yellick and, and those men compete this year. One of the things that stood out, too, the number is plus one in turnovers last year. It doesn't seem like a big number, but considering what had been the last couple of years, I think, Keyshawn, that is a big number for you guys. Yes, sir. How many picks you want, you personally? I want seven to eight. You personally? Goal, personally. That'll work. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. <laughs> you go that ball. It. How about the, the fact that you were plus one as far as turnovers? It's good. We, we, again, we still can be more consistent. Uh, you know, obviously, that's the name of the game. Um, 
you know, win the turnover battle. That's uh, obviously as a team, that's uh, one of our main goals every single week. And, um, you know, that and explosive plays, I think, win and lose you football games. And expo explosive play battle, if you can win that, you can win on the, the turnover battle, uh, you know, most of the time you're going to win the football game. Let's talk about the offense. You just go back for it for a second because another stat that stood out that I know has been worked on, you gave up 43 sacks mm -hmm. this past season. Was that breakdown uh, mechanics, mental, or a combination of everything? Well, a combination of, uh, you know, an offensive line who's young, um, a, a, a group that – Maybe didn't have as much chemistry, just being shuffled around so much due to injuries. Some of it's having a freshman quarterback that squeezed the ball too long at times, uh, not knowing where to go with the ball. So it's a team effort. Some of it's been, uh, Jeffrey will tell you, that's something we worked on uh, a lot this offseason is his pass protection, missing that's too nice. many blitzes, getting your eyes on the right keys. So uh, unfortunately, it was uh, fortunately and unfortunately, we gave up way too many sacks, but it was, it was everybody. It was offensive line, it was running backs, and it was a quarterback. And it was receivers. You, hey, you got to get your butt open. Uh, you want to you want to catch the football. You better go get open fast. When you self scout, do you still have to find more ways to get Jeffrey the ball? We're always looking to get our playmakers the ball. Not only Jeffrey, but uh, I feel like there's some other guys that uh, we need to get the ball to. We got to spread it around. But um, you know, when Jeffrey's on and when he's going, um, pretty much as offense, you know, we are too. So. Uh, we, we definitely have to find ways to get him the ball, and he's got to do a great job again, um, having a great season and being consistent throughout every week of, of taking care of his body. Receivers, who should we watch out for this year? I think Rico Boosie uh, is a young guy that um, kind of got injured early on in the season, missed uh, four or five games there, and then came back and had a big bowl game. I think he has a really big upside. Um, he's as talented as a lot of them I've been around, but again, just kind of young and raw. Uh, I think. Uh, he's a guy that I think he can be a playmaker for us. And then Jalen Guyton, a guy mm -hmm. that uh, who's coming in a transfer, uh, had a really good spring. Uh, you talk about competitive and the way he works. He's extremely smart, uh, but he's extremely athletic. And he's came in, he's bought into what we're trying to get accomplished, and he's worked extremely hard this uh, this off season. And I'm looking for him to have a really big year. Guyton originally committed, by the way, to Notre Dame out of high school. So he's a big addition. Seth, always good to see you, my always friend. Always good. Appreciate it. I wish it. you guys the best of luck. Yes, Stay sir. healthy, yes, both sir. of you. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. We'll continue our coverage of Conference USA kickoff when we return right after this.